Oh, hey YouTube, how's it going? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. You know what? It's been an extremely busy summer for me. I really got to apologize to my subscribers. I wanted to put out a new video every week or every two weeks, but where I work, we've had some hardcore staffing issues. Um, there is kind of an end in sight and a little bit more free time for me coming up soon. So I really want to take advantage of that and get back into the YouTube bogey wheels video making mode. So first I'm going to get behind the camera and just give, bring everyone up to speed what's going on. And voice over time. Mike, Mike, Mike. Hey, it's Project Death Trap. What happened to you, man? Last I saw you went on a date with some shady looking girl from the west end of Pembroke. Dude, you look rough. Maybe take a few days off. Oh yeah, and while you're here, are the rumors true? That you're really a 470 and not a 583? That's embarrassing. Working lawn tractor! Not a working lawn tractor. This guy, eh? This guy right here, am I right? Am I right, this guy? This guy right here? Am I right? 860 big board port and polished twin jaws pipe, cartoon advanced timing high compression. Yeah, the problem with this guy is the last time I went riding, a small gas can, through no respect for the laws of physics, came undone and caught up in the track, busting a hole in my heat exchanger. But my sled spilled its guts all over the A-trail. Real unfortunate. So I had this bungeed up real tight on the back of the sled, right over the tail. Unbeknownst to me, a bungee let go. This guy somehow made its way all the way underneath into the track and got jammed up in my heat exchanger and busted my heat exchanger. <laughs> We're off to see the welder, the wonderful welder of aluminum. The R1 dirt bike, I love this project. Project Super, Super Badass. Bad. Bad. Finally answering the question to, what if an R1 sport bike were really really high on bath salts? Finally a bike that'll eat your face off. Coolest thing to look forward to on this bike is I actually had some time to put some bed liner on the fairings of it. And that turned out real well, I used Easy Liner, got it from Canadian Tire, good and cheap. Ran out of bed liner halfway through because I used it for a different project first. But soon enough, I'll grab another can of that and finish the project up. It should look really, really cool. Of course, I didn't get to film any of it because I did it all at night. Mike. Mike. Cat! Oh, look at that winter camo wrap! Yes, this is... Uh, this is... Alright, fine. You do it. Go ahead. Enjoy. All you. Oh, okay, he's gone. This bad girl is my sled. Brand new 800 motor, top and bottom, dropped onto the chassis of a 2007 Rev MXZX. It's my show, I get to do the talking. Okay, it's getting a new SBI pipe, I'm getting a JPR performance can, it's gonna go on it once it comes in the mail, but that's the old Jaws can that's been painted up to clean up. Next thing I gotta do is replace the bendix on the starter, that's it right there, right in front of the main clutch. And after that, I'm gonna be putting a brand new track, here it is, it says it's supposed to be a 1.75, but ha ha ha, I measured it. No way, it's closer to about one and three eighths. Moving on, bike, bike! And the rest is just a bunch of sea doos The old ones, I love these old guys. Two strokes. Lightweight, the old X4 hull. Uh, two of them are XP 800s from 1996. One of them is a 720 from 95. They're all awesome. This one will make you bleed, though. Rip tape your skin off. And this is a dirt bike. It's a WR400. And it badly needs a carb adjustment. And that's where I keep my smoke detector when it bothers me. And this was once a Honda Shadow. Sportsmanship. New shoes. You're watching Bogey Wheels.